exercise 5.2 question number 17 we need to prove that this integral 0 to pi x dx over 1 plus sine of x equals pi consider this integral let's suppose this is equals to i 0 to pi x dx over 1 plus sine of x this integral now using the theorem 5.9 I can write it like i is equals to 0 to pi. I can replace my x with pi minus x, upper limit minus x. This will become pi minus x dx over 1 plus sine of pi minus x like this. Now this will become i is equals to 0 to pi, pi minus x dx over 1 plus sine of x. Now I can split it into two functions because I have two functions in numerator where that are separated by the subtraction sign. So I will get i is equals to 0 to pi, pi over 1 plus sine of x dx minus 0 to pi x dx over 1 plus sine of x. If you observe this is the same thing as we let equals to i. So let's suppose that this is equals to i, this function is equals to i. So this is subtracting here. If I move it on the left side, it will become i plus i. So it will become 2i here. So 2i equals to 0 to pi. I am taking pi outside. It will become 1 over 1 plus sine of x dx. Now this will be equals to 2i is equals to pi. Again using the theorem 5.9 here, I can write it like, uh, before using theorem 5.9, I can also use the theorem 5.11 here. In that theorem, what we can do if we have a limit of integration from 0 to 2a, f of x dx, we can write it like 2, 0 to a, f of x dx. Just divide this upper limit with 2, write that limit after dividing 2 and write 2 here in the, mul in the multiplication of that integral. So I can write here 2, 0 to pi by 2. I have divided my upper limit with 2. 1 over 1 plus sine of x dx like this. So here I got 2i is equals to pi into 2. Now, now I can use theorem 5.9 that is 0 to pi by 2. 1 over 1 plus sine of pi by 2 minus x. I replaced my x with the upper limit minus x dx. Now open this, it will become 2i is equals to pi into 2, 0 to pi by 2, 1 over 1 plus cos of x dx. Now this cos of x, it can be opened as, you, if you know its direct value, you can write it, it's up to you, but if you don't know, you can just split it as cos of x is equals to cos of 2 into x by 2. This will become cos square of x by 2 minus sine square of x by 2. Now here you have 1 plus cos of x. So if I write 1 plus cos of x, it will become 1 plus cos square of x by 2 minus sine square of x by 2. 1 minus sine square of x by 2 will be give you cos square of x by 2 and this cos square of x by 2 is written as it is. So it will give us 2 cos square of x by 2 here. So I will get here. 2i is equals to pi into 2, 0 to pi by 2, 1 over 2 cos square of x by 2 dx here. So this thing, this 2 and 2 will be cancelled. I will get here 2i equals pi into 0 to pi by 2, 1 over cos square of x by 2 can be written as secant square of x by 2 dx. Now I need to integrate this function. For that, I am letting here some substitution, let x by 2 is equals to t, so that dx by 2 is equals to dt, I will get dx is equals to 2 dt. If I am substituting it into some other function, I need to change my limits of integration. This lower limit is on x, so when x approaches to 0, put x approaches to 0 here, you will get t approaches to 0, then my t approaches to 0. And if I put x approaches to pi by 2 here, then I will get t approaches to pi by 4. So my limits of integration are now from 0 to pi by 4. So I will get here 2i is equals to pi, 0 to pi by 4. And here I will get secant square of t into 2 dt. So I will get 2i is equals to pi into 2 
0 to pi by 4 secant square of t dt. Now I can open this using the formula. I can also open here that formula for integration but in that formula you will get tangent and if you get the tangent and you apply the limit pi by 2 on that tangent that will become your undefined. That is the reason that I just changed due to changing for changing my limits of integration. I just changed it into some other variable. And here you see I got pi by 4 in place of pi by 2. That can be easily evaluated. So now you can apply here the formula. I will get here 2i is equal to pi into 2. And here I will get tangent of t. And the limits of integration are from 0 to pi by 4. If I directly use the formula, this formula here, my tangent pi by 2 will become the undefined. That is the reason I just use this substitution. So I got 2i is equal to pi into 2. That will be tangent pi by 4 minus tangent 0 like this. So it becomes 2i is equal to pi into 2, 1 minus 0. So that becomes 2i is equal to pi into 2 here. I am not multiplying it here because I just wanted to tell you the answer for this integration. This is the answer for this integration that is 0 to pi by 2 1 over 1 plus sine of x dx. Its answer is 2 here. That answer will I will also use in the later on the questions. That is the reason I just separated it like this. Now just keep in your mind what was the answer of this question 0 to pi by 2 1 over 1 plus sine of x dx. Its answer was 2. That answer I will also use in some other question as well. So this become now 2i is equal to 2 pi. So i is equal to 2 pi over 2. So that becomes i is equal to pi here. So that was the same thing that I wanted to prove here. So it is proved now. Question number 18. That is 0 to pi by 2 integrate theta over sine of theta whole square d theta is equal to pi ln of 2. Consider this integral. Let's suppose that it is equal to i. i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 theta over sine of theta whole square d theta. I can write it like i is equal to 0 to pi by 2. This can be written as theta square over cosecant square of theta d theta. Because 1 over sine of theta is cosecant theta and the square will give you the cosecant square of theta. Now I can use here the integration by parts formula. Take it as first function and this one as the second one. I will get i is equal to first function into integration of second function is minus cot of theta. And the limits of integration are from 0 to pi by 2. Minus integral 0 to pi by 2 derivative of first function is 2 theta and the integration of second function is minus cot of theta d theta here. This will become i is equals to this thing. This thing if I after applying the limit I will get here 0. How I will get 0 here? Because if I put the upper limit here we know that cot pi by 2 will give us the 0 answer. Because tangent pi by 2 is undefined so 1 over undefined value will give you 0. So after putting the upper limit I will get 0 here and after negative this function with lower limit and you see the lower limit is 0 so this thing will get, make this function 0. So I got here 0 answer and I will left here with plus 2 0 to pi by 2 theta cot of theta d theta here. I can write it like i is equal to 2 0 to pi by 2 theta cos of theta over sine of theta like this d theta. Now I can consider this was first function and consider this as second function and integrate by part I will get i is equals to 2 first function into integration of second function. You see its sine theta derivative is present here so it will be integration will be ln sine of theta. And the limits of integration are from 0 to pi by 2. Due to this 2, I am just writing the brackets here. Now, neg minus integration. Derivative of first function will give us 1 ln sine of theta, d theta here. 
i is equals to 2. Now, if I put the upper limit here, if I put upper limit here, this will ln sin pi by 2. Sin pi by 2 is 1 and ln 1 will give you the 0. So, the upper limit answer will be 0 here. And if I put lower limit here, 0, I will again get 0 here. So, this term goes to 0. I will get here this negative and this 2 will be negative 2, 0 to pi by 2, ln sin of theta, d theta here. Now, I can write it like i is equals to this thing. I can just use it here. Example 9 of this for this. I can use here the value for example 9. That was if you need to integrate 0 to pi by 2 ln sine of theta d theta. This is the same question. That is on page number 179 example 9. Integration of 0 to pi by 2 ln sine of x dx. Its answer here is minus pi by 2 ln of 2. So I can directly write that answer here. So for that you must consult example number 9 of this book. So directly using the value here. This is negative 2 and the answer for this is negative pi by 2 ln of 2. This 2 and this 2 will be cancelled. So I got i is equals to pi ln of 2 in my answer. That is the same thing that I needed to prove here in question 18. Come on question number 19. That is integrate from 0 to pi by 2 ln tangent theta plus cot of theta d theta is equals to pi ln of 2. Let i is equals to 0 to pi by 2 ln tangent theta plus cot of theta d theta. This can be written as i is equals to 0 to pi by 2 ln sin of theta over cos of theta plus cos of theta over sin of theta d theta like this. Now just take the LCM here. I will get i is equals to 0 to pi by 2 ln. LCM is cos of theta and sin of theta. I will get here sin square of theta plus cos square of theta and d theta here. This will become i is equals to 0 to pi by 2 ln 1 over cos of theta sin of theta d theta. You know that what is the property of ln? If you have some function, if you just separate, if you want to separate your functions using this main ln, you can write it like i 0 to pi by 2. This thing, this is in Deviant. This is in Deviant. So you need to write it like negative. Negative ln cos of theta and negative ln sin of theta like this. If you have ln of a into b, you can write it like ln a plus ln b. But if you have ln a over b, you can write it like ln a minus ln of b. Now both these are in denominator, so you need to write the negative sign and like this. Negative ln cos of theta, negative ln sin of theta. So it will become i is equals to negative 0 to pi by 2 ln cos of theta d theta negative 0 to pi by 2 ln sin of theta d theta like this. Now you know that this is the same thing that we did earlier in question number 18 and that is included in example number 9. That is the answer was in your example number 9 that is the same thing. You see here example number 9 on page 179 this is the same thing with the same limits of integration and its answer is minus pi by 2 ln 2. Now we need to solve this integral because we have its answer but we don't have its answer. So i is equals to you can write it like minus 0 to pi by 2. This thing can be written as ln by using the theorem you replace theta with pi by 2 minus theta. So it will become ln cos of pi by 2 minus theta d theta and this thing is written as it is d theta. This thing will become i is equals to negative 0 to pi by 2. Cos of pi by 2 minus theta will be ln sine of theta d theta. 
Now both the integrals are same. Combine them. We will get i is equals to minus 2, 0 to pi by 2, ln of sine of theta d theta. And what was its answer? From example number 9, you can use that answer. That is minus pi by 2 ln of 2. So you got here i is equals to pi ln of 2 in your answer. This That is the same answer that you need to prove here in question number 19. Question number 20, that is 0 to pi x ln of sine of x dx is equals to pi square by 2 ln 1 by 2. Let's suppose this integral is equals to i, i is equals to 0 to pi x ln sine of x dx. You can replace your x with upper limit minus x using the theorem that is given in your pages previous to the exercise. 0 to pi, this will become pi minus x ln sine pi minus x like this, dx. This will become i is equals to 0 to pi pi minus x ln sine pi minus x is sine of x dx. So it can be written as i is equals to 0 to pi pi ln sine of x minus I am just multiplying this whole thing first with the pi and then with x minus 0 to pi x ln sine of x dx. This is the same thing as this one. So you just replace it with i. After replacing it with i, this is with the negative sign here, move it on the left side. It will become i plus i that will give you 2i is equals to 0 to pi pi is taken outside, ln sine of x dx here. Now, the example number 9. Example number 9 contains the limits of integration from 0 to pi by 2. But here you have pi. How I can just replace this pi with pi by 2? By using theorem 5.11. I can write it like 2i is equals to, I can write it like 2 into 0 to pi by 2. Divide your limit with 2 and write the 2 here in the coefficient. It will become ln sine of x dx. So this is now the same thing as your example number 9. You can use its answer here. This will become 2i is equals to this 2 pi and this answer is minus pi by 2 ln of 2. 2 and 2 will be cancelled. This will become move this 2 on this side this will become minus pi square ln of 2. Move this 2 here. You will get here i is equals to i is equals to minus pi square by 2 ln of 2. Now in your question, it is pi square by 2 ln 1 by 2. But in your answer, you have ln 2. I can make it 1 by 2 by using this negative sign i is equals to pi square by 2, I can write it like minus 1 into ln 2. This is the property of ln, if it has some number in its coefficient, it can be moved in its power. So it will come i is equals to pi square by 2, ln 2 raised to power minus 1. So it became i is equals to pi square by 2, ln 1 by 2. So this is now the same answer of there like this given in this question. So it is proved now. Move on to question number 21. That is 0 to 1 ln 1 plus x over 1 plus x square dx that is equals to pi over 8 ln of 2. Let's suppose this integral is equals to i 0 to 1 ln of 1 plus x dx over 1 plus x square. Now I can use here the substitution due to this 1 plus x square. I can use here x is equals to tangent theta, 1 tangent theta. You, you see the substitution x is equals to a tangent theta for a square plus x square. So a here is 1, one so I am using x is equals to tangent theta. So that dx will be equals to secant square of theta d theta. Also I need to change my limits of integration. When x approaches to 0, then x approaches to 0. So tangent inverse of 0 will give you what value of theta? theta will be 0. Now, when x approaches to 1, then put 1 here, 
tangent inverse of 1 will give you pi by 4. So, theta approaches to pi by 4 here. So, this is my limits of integration now. Replace the values. I will get i equals limit of integration from 0 to pi by 4 ln 1 plus x ln 1 plus tangent of theta divided by 1 plus x square is 1 plus tangent square of theta and dx is secant square of theta d theta. So i is equals to 0 to pi by 4 ln 1 plus tangent of theta 1 plus tangent square of theta is secant square of theta and this secant square of theta d theta is written as it is. This will be cancelled. I will get i is equals to 0 to pi by 4 ln of 1 plus tangent of theta d theta here. Now I can use here the previous theorem 0 to pi by 4 replace your theta with upper limit minus theta. So I got ln 1 plus tangent upper limit is pi by 4 and minus theta like this d theta. So it became here this is used I have used here theorem 5.9. Now it will be i is equals to, now this is the formula for tangent, you can directly use its answer as well but you can open it using the formula, tangent alpha minus beta, this is equals to tangent alpha minus tangent beta over 1 plus tangent alpha tangent beta. You can open this thing using this formula, I am using the answer directly by opening through this formula. That will be equals to. 0 to pi by 4 ln 1 plus 1 minus tangent theta over 1 plus tangent theta d theta here. Now this will becomes i is equals to 0 to pi by 4 ln. Just take the LCM I will get here 1 plus tangent theta plus 1 minus tangent theta over 1 plus tangent theta like this in d theta. This will be cancelled so I got 2 over 1 plus tangent of theta here. So, i is equals to 0 to pi by 4 ln 2 over 1 plus tangent of theta d theta. I can just split it using the formula of ln. You know that property of ln. It can be written as ln of 2 minus ln of 1 plus tangent of theta d theta. Split your integrals. So, i is equals to 0 to pi by 4 ln 2 d theta minus 0 to pi by 4 ln 1 plus tangent of theta d theta. I know that this is the same thing 0 to pi by 4 ln of 1 plus tangent theta d theta what it is equals to it is equals to i. So I can replace this value with i. Negative i will move on this side which will become 1 plus i, i, i plus i this will give you 2i. So I got 2i is equals to 0 to pi by 4 ln 2 is constant I have taken it outside d theta. So I got here 2i is equals to ln 2 theta and the limits of integration are from 0 to pi by 4. So I got here 2i is equals to ln 2 pi by 4 minus 0. So it will become 2i is equals to ln this is pi by 4 ln of 2. 2 moving on other side i will be equals to pi by 8 ln of 2. This is the same thing that you want to prove here. So this question number 21 is also proved. Move on to question number 22. In question number 22, 0 to pi by 2 sine of x ln sine of x dx is equals to ln 2 over e. Consider this integral equals to i. So i is equals to 0 to pi by 2 sine of x ln sine of x dx. This can be written as i is equals to 0 to pi by 2 sine of x and this sine of x. I know that I can write it like ln under root 1 minus cos square of x dx using this thing cos square of x plus sine square of x is equals to 1. I got the value of sine of x out of that and I wrote it like 1 minus cos square of x. Now using the substitution here, let 
z is equals to cos of x. It will become dz is equals to minus sine of x dx. You have here sine of x dx. You don't have negative sine. Move it on this side. I will get negative dz is equals to sine of x dx. Now you need to change your limits of integration as well. When x approaches to 0 here, your z will approach to 1. Then z approaches to 1. And when x approaches to pi by 2 here, your z will approaches to 0. 0 like this. So I got here i is equals to 0 to pi by 2 sine of x. Sine of x, I can get the value of sine of x out of here. Sine of x, uh, there is no need to take its value because sine of x dx will directly give you negative dz. This is negative dz here. Now ln 1 minus cos square of x will give you ln 1 minus z square. Move this negative sign, okay, change the limits as well. On the lower limit, it is giving us 1. And on the upper limit, it, it is giving us 0. Now, you see the lower limit is greater than the upper limit. Just change its place. If you are changing its place, then you need to put the negative sign here as well. So, i is equals to negative 0 to 1. ln 1 minus z square negative dz. Now, this negative and this negative will become positive. So, you will get i is equals to 0 to 1 ln 1 minus z square 1 by 2 dz. This is the property of ln. This power can be taken down. So, it will be i is equals to 1 by 2 0 to 1 ln of 1 minus z square dz. Now, you know that the ln, ln series can be opened by using the formula i is equals to 1 by 2, 0 to 1, ln of 1 minus z square dz. It can be opened like i is equals to 1 by 2, 0 to 1. Here you will get minus z square minus z 4 by 2 minus z 6 by 3 minus up to so on. Due to this negative sign, we have negative signs here. If you have positive, you will write the plus sign here, dz. This will become i is equals to 1 by 2. Integrate it. You will get, take negative sign also common and write all these with the positive sign. You will get here z cube over 3 plus z 5 over 2 into 5 plus z 7 over 3 into 7 plus up to so on. And the limits of integration are from 0 to 1. So i is equals to negative 1 by 2. Put the upper limit. It will be 1 over 3 plus 1 over 2 into 5 plus 1 over 3 into 7 plus up to so on. And if you put then 0, the lower limit, everything will be 0. So there is no need to write that. Now it will become i is equals to negative 1 over 2 into 3 plus 1 over 4 into 5 plus 1 over multiplying 2 inside. 6 into 7 plus up to so on. i is equals to, you can open it. It can be opened like. 1 over 2 into 3, this can be open as 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3. You can check it, you will get the same answer. Plus 1 over 4 minus 1 over 5, plus 1 over 6 minus 1 over 7, plus up to so on. This thing can be written as, multiply the negative sign inside, it will be minus 1 over 2, plus 1 over 3, minus 1 over 4, plus 1 over 5, minus 1 over 6, plus 1 over 7, plus up to so on. I can add 1 on both sides. 1 minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 minus up to so on. What is the purpose of writing 1 here? The purpose of writing 1 here is that this is the formula for, if I write 1 here, this will become the formula for ln 2. This is the direct identity. So that is the reason to complete that formula for the identity, I need to write 1 here. For that purpose, I am adding 1 on both sides. So it will become 1 plus i is equals to ln 2. So i is equals to ln of 2 minus 1. What was in your question to prove? You need e here. So I know that ln e will always give us 1 in my answer. So I can write it like i is, I is equals to ln 2 minus ln of e. 
and using the property of log, I can write it like i is equals to ln with 1 ln, 2 over a. So that is the same thing you want to prove in that question 22. Now move on to question number 23. That is 0 to pi by 2 cos of x over sin of x plus cos of x dx that is equals to pi by 4. Let's suppose that this integral is equals to i. i is equals to 0 to pi by 2 cos of x over sin of x plus cos of x dx. That is the same thing that we did earlier in the previous questions as well. Let's just move on quickly. So i is equals to 0 to pi by 2. I'm just replacing x with upper limit minus x cos of pi by 2 minus x divided by sine of pi by 2 minus x plus cos of pi by 2 minus x dx. Open this thing or if you are remember the direct identity value, you can just replace it with that. 0 to pi by 2, you will get here sine of x over cos of x plus sine of x dx. Now, I can just make the same thing in the numerator as well. Just I'm adding cos of x and also subtracting the cos of x as well. Then I will just separate it into two parts. It will become i is equals to 0 to pi by 2 sine of x plus cos of x over cos of x plus sine of x. This negative sign the dx 0 to pi by 2 cos of x over cos of x plus sine of x dx. This thing will become 1 here and you know that this is the same thing, this one. So you can replace it with i. This negative i move on the left side, you will get 2i here and here you will get 0 to pi by 2 dx. Now this thing will become 2i is equals to, you just uh, integrate it, this will become x and 0 to pi by 2 upper limit and lower limits. 2i is equals to pi by 2 minus 0, upper limit minus lower limit. This will become 2i is equals to pi by 2. So i here will become pi by 4. That, that is the thing here. So you proved this question number 23 as well. Question number 24. Integrate from 0 to pi x sine of x over 1 plus sine of x dx that is equals to pi square over 2 minus pi. Let's suppose this integral i is equals to 0 to pi x sine of x over 1 plus sine of x dx. That is equals to using the, the same theorem, replace your x with pi minus x, you will get pi minus x into sine of pi minus x over 1 plus sine of pi minus x dx. You will get i is equals to 0 to pi pi minus x sine of x over 1 plus sine of x dx. Just split it into two parts. You will get i is equals to 0 to pi pi sine of x over 1 plus sine of x dx minus 0 to pi x sine of x over 1 plus sine of x dx. This is the same thing as this i. Move it on the right left side. You will get 2i is equals to pi 0 to pi sine of x over 1 plus sine of x dx like this. Now you can just <clears throat> 2i is equals to pi 0 to pi. I can make the same thing up. How? I can write it like sine of x plus 1 and minus 1 over 1 plus sine of x dx. Now I can just separate it into two parts. 2i is equals to pi 0 to pi sine of x plus 1 over 1 plus sine of x dx negative this pi also multiplies here 0 to pi 1 over 1 plus sine of x dx like this. This thing will become 2i is equals to pi this thing will be cancelled and you will get here over only dx and now this thing can be Open, you see that the same question, we got the same thing that we were doing in the previous questions that is in question number 17. In question number 17, its answer was 2 here. So you know, I am not solving it here. You can just consult question number 17 for solving this integral. You will get here in the answer 2. So that 2 and that pi will become minus 2 pi here. 
So I got here 2i is equals to pi and this, this thing can be integrated as x and limits of integration are from 0 to pi and negative 2 pi here. So you got 2i is equals to pi, pi minus 0 minus 2 pi. So you will get here 2i is equals to pi square minus 2 pi. Divide 2 on the right side. i will become equals to pi square by 2 minus pi. This is the same thing. Pi square by 2 minus pi. So your question number 24 is also proved. Move on to question number 25. That is 0 to pi by 2 sin of x minus cos of x over 1 plus sin of x cos of x is equals to 0. Prove this integral equals to 0. Consider this integral i is equals to 0 to pi by 2 sin of x minus cos of x over 1 plus sin of x cos of x dx. This thing will be equals to Again, using same theorem 5.9, upper replace your x with upper limit minus x. You will get sine of pi by 2 minus x minus cos of pi by 2 minus x divided by 1 plus sine of pi by 2 minus x and cos of pi by 2 minus x dx. i is equals to. So, i is equals to 0 to pi by 2 cos of x minus sine of x over 1 plus cos of x sin of x dx. If you observe, you have same thing but with the opposite sign in the numerator. So if I take the negative sign <coughs> common out of numerator, I will get back the same answer. So I will get i is equals to negative <coughs> 0 to pi by 2 sin of x minus cos of x over 1 plus cos of x sin of x dx here. This is the same thing as this one. So replace it with i. So i is equals to negative i. Move it on the other side. You will get 2i is equals to 0. So i is equals to 0 here. So you prove this. Question 25 as well. Question number 26. It is 0 to pi by 2 sine square of x dx over... 1 plus sine of x cos of x is equals to pi over 3 under root 3. Consider this integral i is equals to 0 to pi by 2 sine square of x dx over 1 plus sine of x cos of x. Using theorem 5.9, replace your limit x with upper limit minus x. It will become 0 to pi by 2 sine square of pi by 2 minus x over 1 plus sine of pi by 2 minus x into cos of pi by 2 minus x dx. This thing will become i is equals to 0 to pi by 2 cos square of x over 1 plus sine of x cos of x dx. If you observe that, you can write this cos square of x as you, using this identity, sine square of x plus cos square of x is equals to 1. Just replace your cos square of x with i is equals to 0 to pi by 2, 1 minus sine square of x over 1 plus sine of x cos of x dx. Split your integral into two parts. You will get i is equals to 0 to pi by 2, 1 over 1 plus sine of x cos of x dx, negative 0 to pi by 2, sin square of x over 1 plus sin of x cos of x dx. This is the same thing as your equals to i. So this will be i. This i move on the left side. You will get 2i here. This will be equals to 0 to pi by 2 1 over 1 plus sin of x cos of x dx. So this will be equals to i is equals to 1 over 2 0 to pi by 2 1 over 1 plus sin of x cos of x dx. Now this sine of x cos of x, you can just use the half angle identity. You know that 2 sine of x cos of x is equals to sine 2 of x. For that purpose, you need to divide it with 2 and multiply it with 2. You will get 1 over 2, 0 to pi by 2, 1 over 1 plus 1 by 2, sine of 2x here. 
so using now you can just replace it here with x is equals to pi by 2 minus z use this substitution here 